I'm Hayley Pierce, and like most people, I rely a lot on plastic. I'm guilty. Everything from my shampoo and shower gel to my face creams and makeup contains some form of plastic. It seems to be in everything. <laughs> now I'm on a mission to adopt a more eco-friendly makeup and beauty routine. It's just like flushing a plastic bag down the loo every time you flush a wet wipe. On average, a woman will spend around £22,000 on makeup in their lifetime, most of which ends up in landfill. I know I'm going to be guilty of a lot of stuff that I use on a day to day basis that contains plastic, and they just come in handy because they're convenient. For the first time ever, I'm going to try having a zero waste beauty regime. To help me brush up on it all, I've called in an organic makeup artist to give me some tips. Right then, so here's my blank canvas. Ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this foundation is it's natural and it's also completely plastic free. Why is the plastic in foundation? Because it's a cheap ingredient and also because it gives the product that texture that they want and it's easy to produce in a lab. Basically the texture that we're used to in makeup is all to do with the synthetic plastics that they use. It's, I'm just baffled by it all. It, it seems to be in everything. You would never imagine that there would be plastic in your, no. in your makeup. So Mel, how are we actually supposed to know if there's a plastic in a product? So you'll be able to tell by looking at the ingredients list. PEG, nylon, silicones, it will be uh, written as dimethicone. You just don't think about it, do you? If it no. looks good uh, or it makes you look good, you just think, so oh, dear, I'll buy it. I've never looked at ingredients on my makeup that I've bought. Mel, I would absolutely love to have plastic-free makeup, but... It all comes down to cost. Yeah, so it costs more initially, but you buy this once and then the next time you buy the refill, so you just buy this. Long term, you end up spending less and you end up being a lot less wasteful. Yeah. I mean, if there was more alternatives in the shops, I definitely would try and go plastic free gradually. Yeah. Change my makeup bag over time. Yeah. All done. And I've still got full coverage, so thank you. Now I'm on board with the benefits of plastic-free makeup, the exits are here, here and here. I wonder if I can convince some makeup fans to try it out. So girls, how important is makeup to you all? Well, it's quite important, isn't it? Because we are um, going into Carbon Crew, and obviously with Carbon Crew, makeup's a really big part of the uniform. I've got totally plastic-free makeup for you to try today. Organic makeup, I've got eyeshadow. Do you want to try the eyeshadow out? I've got a mascara for someone to try. Yeah, cool. And then some lippy. Do you want to try the lippy? Yeah, thank you. Cool. It's got a nice pigmentation as well. Yeah. With the eyeshadow, like from here, you can't even really see it. It's that subtle and yeah. natural. Really natural. Yeah. yeah. How are you getting on with the lipstick? It's really nice, it smells really nice. Does this smell really nice? It's a lovely colour, so two loads. Thank you. Right, Hannah, how are you getting on? I think that looks better than, like, my original one. Yeah, I mean, would you now go out and buy organic plastic-free makeup, or...? I think I'd be a bit more mindful that it's actually out there, but um, I don't think I'd be buying it unless it's, like, the same colours to what I usually buy. So what do you think, girls? Would you buy it? Probably not. Why? <laughs> the same end result, I'd rather spend a cheaper option and... OK, yeah, fair enough. No, I do agree with you. I mean, organic, plastic-free makeup is a lot more expensive. Yeah. If you don't have the cash to splash on buying organic makeup, apparently you can make your own. I will be gobsmacked if this actually works. Shea butter, aloe vera gel and some charcoal powder. So apparently it's a tablespoon of it all. It's not very practical. It is a little bit of a potch. But so far, it looks like mascara, I suppose. It's just got to set and get in my tube. Oh. Whoa, I've actually made my own mascara. Let's give it a go. Well, it's definitely coming out black. OK, so it's a bit messy, but it definitely works, look. Go me, go me, and make my own mascara. So I'm with my boy Christian now, 
and he usually uses mascara to paint on his beard. So let's give it a go. Oh yeah. It's working. I'm not so ginger now. <laughs> it's working. Oh look at that, Chris. You'll save loads of money, don't we? Woohoo! What do you think of that, Chris? Pretty good. There we are. Look, well, I'll give you the ingredients now and you can make your bloody own. Shampoo. Shampoo bar or refill. Having tackled my makeup products, it's time to ditch the not so fantastic plastic from my daily cleansing routine. Moisturizer. Coconut oil. With environmental expert Natalie Fee. So, out of all my products, what would you say is the worst culprit, maybe, for the environment? I'm going to go for the wipes. Okay. These are a bit of a scourge when it comes to the environment. Most wet wipes contain plastic in them. I didn't know there's plastic in wet wipes, though. These are being flushed down the loo in their millions. I mean, it's just like flushing a plastic bag down the loo every time you flush a wet wipe. They should go in the bin. Mm. So I've got a few things for you to try, oh. which I'm excited about sharing with you. So here is some deodorant. Well, you just rub it like that? You just rub it like that. This is a face moisturiser. This is moisturiser? Yeah, that's a face serum. Oh, it's lovely and soft, it's yeah. It's fantastic. Every plastic-free person needs a bamboo toothbrush. <laughs> wow. Oh, but I love my electric toothbrush. Well, maybe that can be for travelling. And finally, this, my favourite of all, the makeup remover pad. Right, I'm looking forward to using this because I have been told in the past that wet wipes are not the best to take makeup off with. So maybe this will make me ditch the wipes completely. Time to try out my new zero waste plastic free goodies. Right, so Natalie said all you need is just warm water. Guys, it is really good. If it gets the mascara off, then I'm going to fall in love with it. Oh my god, it is. It's taking the mascara off for no cleanser. Take one for their tea mail. No makeup selfie and all that. <laughs> okay, guys, so I've just used the face serum instead of moisturizer. It's just like coconut dottle, to be honest with you. But it smells really nice. Uh, you know, there's no packaging, more room in my cupboards, and great if you're traveling. So I would buy that again, yeah. So I'm just trying out deodorant, guys. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like the texture of it. It's quite powdery, but I don't like it at all. I really did like the flannel, though. Enough to think I might ditch my face wipes once and for all. Natalie's brought me to Wessex Water Treatment Plant to help convince me. So all the wipes that we're seeing here are the ones that have made it through the sewers to the treatment plant that didn't spill into the rivers and seas. Unbelievable. It's just really making me think about the impact it's having on our planet and, you know, our future generations. Like, I feel ashamed. Ready to see where the wipes go next? Yeah, I just hope the smell gets better. <laughs> <I> can't guarantee <laughs> that. So this is where all the wipes end up. Every year we throw away around 10.8 billion wet wipes, some of which get washed up as far away as the Arctic. But most of it is plastic that won't biodegrade. And what happens to the plastic then? So in this case, it goes off to be incinerated, 10,000 tonnes a year of it, just from this place here. Wow. But in some places around the country, it goes to landfill. So it's either being burnt or sitting in the ground. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. You know, you, you did say that there's plastic in wet wipes, but never, ever did I imagine it to be this you know, it's sick, it's, it's sick and it's really... I'm worried for our future, I really am. It's opened up my eyes to a lot. Do you think it's going to change how you use your makeup wipes and wet wipes? Well, yeah, I mean, today has shocked me. And if I can change anything in my day-to-day -day just to cut out plastics, I will do. I mean, I don't need to use as much wet wipes as I do. Yeah, they're good, but if there's something I'm definitely going to cut back on already. Yeah, so see, that'll help. Well, well done, kids. Well, well. <laughs> 
I'm a self-confessed beauty addict, yet I never realised how much single-use plastic there is in my makeup or the daily beauty basics I used to rely on like face wipes. Now I know there are affordable non-plastic alternatives, I will look at buying or even making them in the future. From now on, I'm going to make an effort to buy less and recycle more. I won't forget the smell of those face wipes piled high. So it's back to basics for me with my old school flannel and water. <laughs> right, knock it off now. <laughs>